Spanning well over a century of ever-changing trends in fashion, photography, and iconic women, Vogue has been one of the world's most influential fashion magazines. So what does it take to put uh, this iconic magazine together? We're going to find out with fashion model and style expert Ioana House, and she gives us a behind-the-scenes look at the legacy of Vogue. Yes. Welcome, Ioana. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you for having me. This is really, over a century. That 120 is years. Amazing. So where where do they come up with and how have they where does our artistic vision come from and where has it come from over the years? Okay, well most people might not know that it's all down to the fashion editors, um, editor at large, but most importantly they're the ones, they're the assuming artists who put everything together. They're working with the photographers, they're pulling the trends from the runways, and they are the ones putting the magazine together. And so who are some of the, the big influencers from the past? Okay, so one of my most favorite, Diana Freeland, because she is a free spirit. She had no budget when it came to getting Vogue together with the spreads and editorials. She was famous for traveling all over the world. She wanted it done. She didn't care how much it cost. She was a big movement in the 60s. She worked with such big supermodels like Verushka. And she was the idealist and visionary for Vogue and really launched this sort of fantasy. And what was different about back then is that Vogue came out twice a week versus one once a month. Mm -hmm. So women would literally rush to their mailboxes to kind of take this voyage, this fantasy with Diana's uh, spreads and editorials. So you would really watch, look at these magazines oh, yeah. and they would kind of tell you where the trends are going yeah. and really create the trends. Yeah, full of fantasy is what she wanted to be about. There was no budget. I'd love to have her as a boss. With Very me. cool. She, she's still, yeah, she she's still at Vogue? She would just send her or? tribe out and get this done and do it all and you know it's so it's really cool that she was really about that very cool and then obviously the the newer ones come from yes. you know they're they're looking at the past they're watching yes. the editors from the past well who are some of the Polly Mellon was um, also worked under Diana, and she was mostly noted for being a stylist. And then throughout the years, she started becoming more involved with the magazine, and she partnered with some of the most prominent fashion photographers of the century: Richard Avedon, Irving Penn, Peter Lindbergh. There you see Lauren Hutton right there in one of the wow. big spreads of the '70s. And she was really about uh, putting the supermodels and making them even bigger by pairing them with the right photographers and making them kind of be the celebs of the magazine. Very cool. Cool. So, and, and others are come up and coming, so yes. they now have their apprentices. Right. And... Well, what we have now is our future, which is here, and we have Andre right. Leontali, who I've met with Tyra. He's absolutely incredible, so personable, a fashion shaker and mover for sure. And he really was surrounded by women, and then his big break was when he kind of took a job on as a volunteer at the Costume Institute, and then, you know, wow. later on he started being the news editor at Vogue. And, you know, he really is just a fun person to be around. He's very into fashion, but he's also very just day-to-day personable and I was really shocked and floored when I had spoken to him a few times I, I just like was like mesmerized by his ch charisma wow that's cool so maybe we can get him on the show one day huh? I well we'll see he's kind of busy at Vogue and everything <laughs> but anyway if he's in Jacksonville why not and then Grace Coddington who a lot of people might not know she used to be a really famous uh, kind of model in the UK and you know she really is a genius stylist she probably puts some of the most elaborate sets together for Vogue and kind of gets slapped on the hand by Anna Wintour because she spends too much money but she really pulls <laughs> it together and and it's so inspiring because she also has a very young energy and vibe to her. So I feel like she connects with the audience in that way and really creates a lot of drama. And it, they call her the Michelangelo to Anna Wintour. Uh, if Anna Wintour is the Pope, then Grace is um, Michelangelo. So Anna Wintour. And Anna Wintour, her. she has such a bad rap from the Devil Wears Prada, but she's a tough cookie. But we love her anyway because she kind of was. So the is that who that was based on? That yeah, character? Yeah, pretty much. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, she she was all about the minutia and making everyone kind of you know fear her and I've been to Con and asked a few times and everyone's like scuffling around and people stay sure. super late and they really dedicate their whole life to making this issue the next issue even better than the next and what's great about Anna Wintour is that she really revolutionized Vogue because she started making changes she started putting celebrities on the covers. she mm. started putting musicians on the covers when everyone was trying to stick to the models and she's like no you know we're current this is what's going on now and this and is what people are going to gravitate absolutely. towards and, and pick up off the shelves right? yeah yeah Anna very winter. cool. So what can we look forward to in the future with Vogue and where can we go to get more information about the editors and what's happening? Right. Well, part of the incredible books that are out there, I like to collect and hit up vintage stores. But the one thing I can highly recommend this weekend, if you can rent on, <clears throat> on demand or something, is The Editor's Eye. It's an HBO documentary. I've seen it about 10 times. It's absolutely fabulous. It shows you how the magazine puts everything together, every detail, styling, and it's brilliant, and it's The Editor's Eye. 
Very cool. Okay. Good stuff, Joanna. Thank As you. always, let's get a little Thank elbow you. bump. Thank you, Joanna, for uh, your behind-the-scenes look at Vogue magazine. If you have any beauty or style or fashion questions for Joanna and you want to sponsor, uh, sponsor a Beauty Bugs segment, email her at living at firstcoastnews.com.